Hi guys and welcome to Tailored Talk. Firstly, I wanted to talk about why there is no way Foodie Beauty um, could get Sam to Kuwait. Um, she's trolling and I know that's already been covered, but there's just no way that she could logistically get him there to Kuwait. Um, she would need for Sam um, vaccinations, paperwork, vet history, permits, possibly a pet a pet passport, um, health certificates, um, a microchip. She'd also need a lot of money for Sam to get there. And most importantly, I don't think she could get the paperwork because she's so lazy. And I also don't think that she can financially afford to get him there. When Foodie first announced that Sam would be going to Kuwait on her community tab, I laughed because she really has no idea about the effort and the money needed for pet transport, especially from Canada all the way to the other side um, of the world to Kuwait. There is no way that Sam is going to Kuwait. Foodie is just, you know, she's too lazy and she's broke. There's no way Sam is going. I just wanted to put that out there because I know that she's trolling, but even if she wanted to, she wouldn't be able to. <coughs> Um, but even if she wanted to, she wouldn't be able to get Sam to Kuwait. And I think that we could all breathe a collective sigh of relief because she's a terrible pet owner. And she would just be, you know, instead of abusing um, Sam in Canada, she would just be abusing Sam in Kuwait. And nobody wants that. And I think that Sam is just tired of being used as a prop and a little show pony to just bring viewers back because we all know that foodie cannot take care of anything she can't take care of a house plant she can't take care of herself and she can't take care of any pets or god forbid any children there's just no way that she that she's going to bring sam over um to kuwait and um, thank god for that secondly guys um in association with the topic of sam I would like to show you um, quickly one of Foodie's TikToks and I will explain why in a quick minute. So guys, I posted that because I wanted to show you a TikTok of Foodie trying to accuse FFG of constant Islamophobia, okay? Because recently, when she, uh, when she announced this Sam business, she posted a thumbnail that is still up that I'll post for you now um, of Sam in her thumbnail um, wearing a shamag, which is an Islamic turban. Okay, now somebody on Reddit remarked that this could come across as racist, and I'm not Muslim, but in my personal opinion, as a non-Muslim person, I think it does come across as patronizing and xenophobic. Um, Foodie makes TikToks and lives about reactors being racist and Islamophobic, um, totally making fun of her religion, making fun of her clothes, calling them rags. But what do you think that you're doing when you post your cat in an Islamic turban? Like, you didn't post it out of respect. You didn't post it because Sam's one of, like, your child. Sam's the most important thing in your life. You didn't post it out of honouring Sam. You posted it as a joke. So I just wanted to ask, is that what you think Islamic clothes are to you? Are Islamic clothes just costumes to you, um, cosplay with your abaya, and a shamag for men is just a joke to you? Because I guarantee if Yabba, if Yabba or Charlie 
or BBJ's favorite, FFG, if they posted a picture of any animal dressed in an abaya, dressed in a hijab, dressed in a shamak, if they posted any animal in any type of Islamic Islamic clothing, you would be screaming racism and Islamophobia from the top of your lungs. Okay, it's like if you were dating BB um, back years ago and you posted Sam in a do-wag or you posted Sam with a bonnet on his head or if you dated a Jewish man and you were posting Sam with a kapa on his head and put it on a thumb and put it on for a thumbnail. It's totally gross and it's inappropriate. It's, it's, cult, it's culturally inappropriate. Like, what is wrong with you? Why do you think it's okay to post an animal in a turban to try and be funny about Islamic culture and the fact that Sam is coming to Kuwait? Just because you can post these things, it doesn't mean that you should. And you know what, foodie? Just because you're dating a Middle Eastern man, it doesn't give you the right and it doesn't give you the free reign um, to post animals in Islamic clothing. It's disrespectful. Like, you have a go at FFG for calling him salad, but what you do is a hundred times worse than what she does. You may as well call your boyfriend salad. You know, you may as well, because the, what you're doing is a thousand times worse. You may, as, you may as well make fun of his clothing, because that's what you're doing when you put it on an animal and put it on a thumbnail for social media purposes. You continually crap and um, appropriate and crap and piss all over this man's culture. You laugh at Salah's culture and his historic values and expect him not to say anything because you pay for his submissiveness and most importantly, you pay for his compliance and you pay for his silence. No wonder his family want nothing to do with you. Um, you're Islamophobic, you're xenophobic, you're a proud culture vulture, and you're patronising as hell. Um, you're xenophobic, you're awful, um, you're a hypocrite, and you're patronising as hell. So guys, that's the end of my rant. Let me know what you think in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you. Um, I will be putting out more, you know, girl world videos on a regular basis. Um, thanks for reading. Um, thanks for reading and listening. Um, have a great day. Take care.